Hi everyone, welcome to another Disney Infinity tutorial. I hope you're all safe and well. Uh, today we are using Nick Fury and we're going to use him just to give you a bit of an introduction of how this level is now panning out. I've shown you different things to do with the uh, Gavex, how we steal a ship. This will give you an idea of how the actual gameplay is going to start now all coming together. And over the past couple of months, I've been changing this and tuning it to work and give you a certain flow to the game. So what we need your squad to do, your rogue squad to do, is to uh, sneak into the base where there are obviously some patrol units. So we have a spawning unit here and we obviously have to kill some enemies. So Nick Fury's got a couple of cool moves that we're going to use. Now I know he's a Marvel character but the reason why I picked him and like I did with Yondu as well is that they've got cones. It's flipping freezing out there. We need to keep ourselves nice and warm. Uh, but what we do is we're going to take out these little enemies. And one thing I I don't use that often is actually this spawn uh, regenerator. That little section in the middle there will just keep respawning enemy after enemy after enemy. Uh, so I've only got six and it's actually quite hard to just keep Fury on his own. So as you see I get sidetracked with just taking out the enemies but that's no good because while that central unit is open they will never stop so we need to take this out. We have to keep destroying this down. I've got a little cloaking section while I can do this as a distraction. So we've got to destroy this, we'll stop these respawning, otherwise they're going to attack us galore. And don't get me wrong, we use a lot of memory up as always, so we are filling out to the max. So I quite like this respawn tool because it does save us a lot on logic. Uh, and I've got a, cool, a couple of cool other effects that we're going to use in a few clips time. He's got some moves, the old Nicky boy. Look at that for a shot, it's cool. Oops, spoke too soon. Got on the level slightly a little bit harder, but he's quite good. I gotta take this out. So they're just gonna keep respawning until I get this thing done. So ah, now it's gone, they won't respawn. So now when they die, they are truly gone. He's out the window. So we're getting to the base. And what we're going to have to do also is we're going to have to take the cable car up to that eagle's nest. And what we're going to show you in the second half of this clip, so the first part is gameplay, uh, and the second half we're going to go into uh, detail how we just built the actual the rest of the level. So there's actually no logic in this uh, clip at all. It's purely just building and just showing you how I built the two bases and, and the components that we need. Uh, the clip that follows this later is going to be called um, uh, Where Eagles Dare, and that's going to show you the cable car. Uh, we'll just show you. So we have another one of these bases. As soon as we come in, we have now more enemies to go. So we have to take these guys out. Well, I've mixed up the enemies a bit just to mix up the battles. Which is always quite cool. Now the plan with this, the thing is, obviously once we steal the ship, the, uh, the train is going to also get derailed and blow up. So we've still got that to come. But what I was trying to do is that we, I wanted to make out there's a reason for us to get up onto the lift. And what we're going to basically do is those uh, the lift doesn't work. Yeah, so the the actual um, cable car is broken. So we need to power that up. Yeah, so there's a reason I want you to explore the level that we've done. So let's take this out. Oh, it's nearly gone. And thank you, Mr. Trooper, because he's just blown up the base for me. Look at that. He's blown up the own centre himself. What a numpty. Take him out, come on, or oh, you missed him. Oh, you think He's I gone, one more to go, where's it? Oh, we got a few there. Come on, look at the move, look at that. Oh, awesome. Nick Fury rocks. <laughs> Easy target. Now, I haven't used Nick Fury that often, but I have to say, when I started doing the test run for this clip, I've gone from 4 to 14. So you can see the number of little test runs I've done. Oops. There we go. Right, so our object here is to get our lift to work. So you'll see there's a button here for our lift generator and if you look over the rest of the map we also have some power generators here. Oh, look at that, lovely little power generators. And you can hear there's a appeal trooper somewhere but he's not giving me any grief so we'll leave him at the moment. Cool. So what I need to do is I need to get the cable cars working so we can get up to that eagle's nest. Right, otherwise we can't get up there. So what we're going to do is going to hit the power button to fire that button there and you'll notice I've changed the layout of my cable cars, I've made them really cool now. So we've made them like this quite actual little box here. 
the other one was too square, it looked naff, I wanted it to look like a cable car and certain aspect to it. Mm -hmm. And we have a few surprises in my next clip where we go with this. So the plan here is, we press this button, it says, oh, okay, it's not working, we're missing something, something's wrong. Now sadly we don't have the text tool on the console, so we're going to have to find out what we are. Uh, so what we have is we have these little power generators and these power cells are going to help us power up the generators. So what we need to do is take these and we need to go and power up the console. So you'll see here we've got three generators down here and we need to power these ones up. So, And the reason for that I wanted you to explore the map a bit so make the use of the map. So we drop that on. As we power up you now see we have one of the generators working. Perfect. We now need to do that again. So the rest of the objective now is to do this and, and the logic by the way for this is really low uh, which is good because the map is so big we haven't got much to, uh, room to spare so it's going to be very easy to show you that and I've got a clip coming in a couple of weeks just to show you how we do that part to it or you'll see here I've scattered the, the gates all about so again I wanted you to climb around investigate the area sadly I can't get these batteries to appear anywhere which is a bit annoying I wanted to be random but it doesn't really too much too much and we'll drop through and we power these up. So drop that on. So we now have two generators working. Perfect. So we need to climb back up, we'll go this way. And like I said, this is just giving you an idea of how the level's now coming together. And I, I kept on changing my mind how I wanted to do it. I just I created this base and I'm going, I need to use the base. I've got to create all these ways of climbing up for a reason. Yeah. I felt they were there for no reason at all. So that's what we've done. We've powered up the power supply there's our third battery cool grab that and so I've set this up really purely just so we make sure we covered everything you get to see the whole landscape there's a reason for it all we've got two power uh, two power generators done and the third one ready to go okay and then we chuck this one on and we should be raring to go so chuck that one there so got three on the top perfect now the pity the text tool's not working because it would be really cool because I've done this on purpose uh, I've not told my kids that when it doesn't work so I'm normally their narrator so I'm going to go around and tell them why it hasn't worked so we're going to go over here and it's going to fail so I'm going to press this button and it should work now and it says no back to the drawing board oh no what's that mean and that's because there are actually four generators yeah you go what why is that not working I don't know what. Do you know what? Forget it. I'm going to run up here anyway. And in my original clip, you get blown off. Now you just get killed. Right? You can't run up the, the power. You need to get that one working. So we need to find, is there another generator anywhere? Which, strangely enough, there is. And again, I wanted to explore the area. And there is my other generator. So we need to power that one up. Now, luckily, just so we've got one of these caverns, which I wanted to use, there is a power generator in one of these. So we grab a power cell from here, inside my little base, and we now have our four generators done. Here we go, chuck it on. Now I've missed it there, you'll see it went up to four, now it's gone back to three, so you've got to make sure they're on the screen because it hasn't powered it up, so let's pick that up again. You see the generator's off, so you need to chuck it on that is now powered done so now when we hit the button we should be all cooking on gas so here we go back up come on Nick we drop down so cool so look there's our new cable car yeah we go across it still nothing happens okay which is very annoying so what we've got here is we've got a little button at the side so when we power this up we press that button there now that's done it excellent but it doesn't actually work until you go into the cable car so I wanted to show you that you go into the cable nothing happens now when we go into the cable car it will now start so as we go up we're now going to ride up to the Eagle's Nest okay so if we go through that will now start it off I'm going to jump off and I slip off here like a numpty whoops so I wanted to show you the cable car and I can't show these lovely new cars that are working clearly so I need to climb back up and show you a better position hold on so now you'll see these are our two cable cars and by the way I have a whole adventure to come with there which I'm going to surprise you in a few days time because I've got this working but I just wanted to show you the cable cars coming and they were better than the square box that I've done they actually look like cable cars 
which is quite good. So that looks quite good. And then watch it. They rotate round and they go the other way. Oh, up and down. Look at that. Back of the net. <sighs> so it actually gives the impression they go up and round, but they don't. <laughs> what they actually do is they just reset themselves. Right. That's it for the, the action part. What we're going to do now is continue where we've left off. We've created the train and the track. And what we're going to do for the rest of this clip now is show you how we build those, the rest of the landscape, basically. Uh, and then we're going to just go through building blocks, setting them up. Uh, if anyone wants a PDF of this map, just text me and I'll do it in the next clip. I haven't done one yet, but I don't know if they get used at all. So if you find a PDF of this map would be good. Put something in the comments and I'll make sure I'll, I'll get one done. Uh, they take a little bit to do, you see, so I haven't gone around to doing it. Now you'll see here I'm actually removing one of the pieces because that is where our eagle's nest is going to go on our block. Okay, So that's where we're going to start building it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and grab our little triangular blocks and we need to measure these up accordingly to the squares. So you'll see here I'm just lining the little boxes up and I'm covering the gap perfectly. And I want it to be a good square part. So you'll see here from there I need to move it two places. So one, two. That gives enough space for the train to come in. I don't need to fill that gap in, by the way, because you're not going to see it, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so I'm going to put that piece there. Now, because we've already got the material used, before we start building the rest of this, we need to set the material now. And it took me ages to find it, but it's called this Tatooine Brown Metal Tile. Uh, it gives a really good metal effect. It's quite a good uh, metal block. I quite like this one. It's not a brown at all. It's a grey colour, but it looks very metal, and I think it looks a good option. But we've now set that as the theme. Okay, and now we can build it. So I need a space, a whole space apart. So you need two of either side. So it's five in total. Yeah. So we just move across two. And this is me just checking my diagram that we've got a gap between the two of them. So just move that across. All right. And like I say, this clip is just showing you me how I built the whole thing across. So we're just going to flip it across here. And you can build any type of base you want, but it's really relatively straightforward. You see that fits in quite nicely. We're going to remove some landscapes as well, but it's a nice, easy building exercise. Uh, but basically, you you choose how you want the rest of the landscape here. You can do any variation of your of your setup. But I did say I'm going to show you every element of this level, and that's what I'm going to do. So we just go through. I uh, have to get these blocks all sorted. Alright, so put these across. These go alternate. You see me pausing it, by the way, because I'm just trying to remember how I've done these. Because just to let you know, by the way, I've had to build all this and then delete it all and then rebuild it again for you guys. So let's put that in there. So we've got these little triangle pieces. Okay, that's the little top part. And they need the long three blocks. Okay, and the little square on the end. Look at that, fits perfectly like a glove. Alright. Now I don't have to do it for, I only have to go across the top part. And what I do here is I do them across here like this. And again, I bring it across onto the side. Nice and easy. See me pick with various different tools and the big giant little these little squares, these big squares, right? This one here. What we're going to do now is we're going to fit that inside the gap. So you'll see here, I'm just fitting that flush against it, the side, and you should get perfectly three. So just double checking. You don't want to do it between the gap. You want to do it for the whole length. So you'll see here, I was going to do it between the gap. No, actually, if I do it this side, I will get three in perfectly. So just do your three. That's that done. But you'll notice it's not long enough, it's not deep enough, so I just need one little square at the bottom and make sure it's on the right side as well, we match that across now I've done the inside even though you don't see that inside one, because when you, if you're on the train you might see it, so I just thought you know what, let's fit it all neatly so that's coming together nicely and now all we need to do now is another square one of the little triangle slopes 
There we go. Right. And again, we twist that round. And I'm going to move that across. So again, that's a whole square. So I want a whole square. I want to move it two across from the from the path tool. There you go. Perfect. And if you've done this right, what you should notice is that that should be exactly three along from there on the box. Look at that like a dream. And then what I've done on there is I've done the other triangle on the other side. Twist that round. You don't have to fill the box inside because no one sees it, but that yeah, there is my shape, which is looking good. And I just need to do the same on the other side. Now I obviously tried variations, tried different shapes, what worked, what didn't work. So I practiced different types of elements to it. Alright, I need to flip that round. There you go. So our eagle's nest section is now coming together quite nicely. And what's beauty about that is I've, pay I've pinned this, by the way, where the actual start of the level begins. That way you don't see the ship appear. You don't see it just suddenly appear like I showed you in the last clip. It appears out of the actual tunnel, so it looks like it comes from the unit. That was the plan. So it's, I've placed this over the starting point where the path appears. And the three boxes again. And we fit all these across. Going across here. Fits perfectly. Great stuff. That's not looking too bad. And we'll fill in those top boxes as well as putting in the uh, the nest as well itself. Okay, so what we're going to do is grab another piece. Is that we want the three boxes? What do I want? What bit do I want? I think it's the three. Yep, there's the three. We'll do that. We'll fit that in there. Now a couple of squares, and then we're all done. It doesn't look bad at all, that. Now, obviously, when we put the landscape in, that block is in the way. Yeah? You'll see there, it's a completely in line section. So what we're going to do is we're going to just delete that out. Yeah? Because that is where I'm going to put the nest in. Okay? And again, you can, if you want, delete the whole area. We're going to cut that out. But there was a hole there, and I'm thinking, what am I going to do with the hole? And then I thought, I know what we can do. We'll use the Death Star little container ship. So what we're going to do is go to our Star Wars... Uh, Origins. I don't know why I've gone there. Where am I going? Oh, no, I don't. I need to learn the landscape first. Silly me. Get my little square of blocks. Because I need the actual thing to be a little bit higher. So what I need is just do one of these landscape boxes. But then I change that to the uh, Guardians Galaxy. Uh, where we go across. Where is it? There you go. The client. If we do that one, set the theme for that instead of the snow. Because what I want to do is I wanted it to look like the base went inside the mountain. Just putting the um, the thing on top didn't work, so I need six of these. Alright, so they all fit perfectly. Nearly forgot the base, because the base doesn't look right without it. You need that, that base in there. It sets it off. And you need them to be double the height as well, by the way. I always forget to do that. It's got to be double the height. Uh, and then you'll notice here we haven't done the ground yet. The ground is still hollow. And the reason for that is we don't know how low we're going to go. So the reason why I've done it this way is that we can work out the height that we need so we know it matches. That was another reason why I went this way around. So salted, that's that done. Excellent. Okay, now we go to the Star Wars toy origin. Let's go to the Star Wars bit. Let's get the one of the coolest units. And you can only get that if you've got Rise Against the Empire on there. Now, we obviously want the gap for the ladder going this way. And if you fit it on, you'll notice it should fit in perfectly into that little section, which it does. And I need that to be closer to the edge. So it just move it across. So it's just slowly to the edge on the screen. So you'll see there, I had it probably too back. and come a little bit closer. You see there's two gap on the side. So just bring it a little bit to the side. Go on, there you go. Oh, that's it. Perfect. That there is at the top of the mountain range. Brilliant. Making sure it looked like it was banging in the middle. And that's what we've done. And now what we need to do is just put some triangular pieces up against the ground to look like it's part of the same thing, which is why I didn't fill in those square boxes, by the way. You thought I was going to, and so did I when looking back on this, but I didn't do that. 
So we need to go back to my simple toys. Our theme is already set, so we should be good to go. So we get some of these tall little things here, and this is why I use these for. Right, so we go across here. So they go against the landscape. So what you can do on there is you can put these across. And that now makes it look like it's part of the same unit. And I did one this side as well. And then I think you use the long ones on the other one just to change the shape a bit. That's the one. Cool. Sorted now. That looks like it's all part of the same unit. You see? Quite easy, cool little effect. Now one thing I found that's quite cool as well is that once you've got the uh, landing pad in the system, you can actually add things inside the area. But you can't do that until you put the landing pad first. So before you normally get a red block. So that's why you can't do these towers until after you've added the landing pad, otherwise it will blow your raspberry. So in this case I'll put these here. So again, to look like more of a, a castle type scenario on the screen. But again, you can only do that once you've got those settings. Right, now the other thing I was going to do then is my Star Wars thing. Where is it? This is the Death Star trench thing. I couldn't find it as well. I looked through the whole screen, but actually it's under the Star Wars under buildings. And if you choose Death Star, uh, you've got that uh, hanger hole. And I use that to put that inside. I just thought it looked cool. Um, and when you do the leap of faith to jump onto the ship, um, then that was the reason why I wanted to do it. So you see here I got lost. Go back to buildings. If they had done a version 4, I'm sure they would have improved the menu system on here. Because I can remember. Cause I, as you'll notice, if you watch my clips, I have no flipping idea where they are. So right, I need to fit this up with the land. So you'll see this, this fits in perfectly. It's all not gone green. And I did three of these. So line it all up. Make sure I get the yellow light so it's confirmed. That's all linked up nicely. And then we just go down. And I did three of those. So when you look down, you can only see. You can't get the angle right. But that gives an impression of the depth. And our eagle nest is looking quite good. See, it's got a little hanger. Obviously, we're going to take that land, landscape away when we do that a bit later. But our ship, this our base is not looking too bad. Cool. Now the good thing is we've done the eagle's nest first. So what we're going to focus on now is actually the tracks that the carriages for the cable car run along. But we're going to work backwards. So you'll see here I'm going to grab some building blocks and you'll see I'm trying to line it up into the middle of that gap. Okay, they don't fit exactly. It doesn't 100% work, but we can create a couple of levels either side. But you'll see here I'm putting a square block in and I'm going to use the actual long slots here just to like the bit that connects to it so it looks like it's part of the landing pad. And that that um, colour we use, that um, um, Tatooine metal is really good because uh, it does blend in quite well with the uh, landing pad. Right, so we put this across here, keeping a little gap across, which all works quite nicely. Right, so what we want to do now is we want a slope to go down. Now we don't want it to go for miles and miles, um, you don't want the cable car to be too big. And the reason for that is if, you, if the distance from the uh, using the blocks are too far, they start to disappear. So I wanted to make sure that the blocks were just long enough so they don't disappear from the screen. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to do 16 of these blocks. Yeah, so we're starting from here, this is the cable car. 16 was about the right length. Otherwise, any further you start going from there, the further you go away, they do disappear, which is a little bit annoying. So, do 16 here, keep it all together. So, sort of count out. And like you say, you don't have to be exact to this particular level, but it just gives you an idea how I've set this up. So there's my 16 blocks, and they all stay in focus. And now I'm going to use the other block, and I'm going to fill them in so it looks like a downward slot. So let's move the other one. Where is it? That's the one I want. And I'm just going to fill that across the top. So they all fit round. So this is where all the gearing is going to run across. Uh, and I played around with the cable car, like I mentioned, and I've really tuned it up because we're going to. 
we're going to have quite an adventure on the cable car. If any of you seen the film where Eagle's Dare with Clint Eastwood, there's a whole battle on the cable car, so we're going to have a couple of few things, surprises to come across what we have to do. Right, and hey presto, there is our little section here. There's a slightly different height, but what we now need to do now is put the other landing pad platform on the side. So you see here, we'll bring this down. So that now goes either side, which is quite nice. And then we got little triangles. Fit this across. So we've got the gap. Now we go to Star Wars Origin and put our little landing pad through. go there we go the attack platform right make sure you get the gap correct we're gonna lower that down and fit that so it fits flush against the side and that now is our base to start we're gonna build around so you'll see I'm, I can't line it up for toffee also look out for the yellow bit that means you're connected and you see this line it up leveled perfect so now that's in place what we can do is we can do the next layer. So I, I wanted to stagger them, yeah? So you'll see here, you then twist the, the pad round, the platform round, and we're gonna now lower it down so it matches up with the footpath of the other one. And then what we're gonna do is you're gonna build your landscape around this platform. Now, you'll see here I'm slightly out, so don't be a numpty like me. Make sure it is, it is level. I'm slightly off-centered and we adjust that in a moment but you, now I can see I've got to put ground in to fit those two up and we've got we know what we're working to so we've got a little base here and we're going to expand and add on top that particular area and the other things we can do is uh, one thing I unlocked under the speedway setting I believe uh, on the speedway set was the the certain objects you do and you can get like uh, cranes and stuff that were quite cool it's not there, where is it? It's not car set. It is speedway, this one. These little things. These are quite, This was quite cool. I unlocked that, so I thought, right, that's going to be unloading and reloading stuff from the Atats. And the crane itself, what I did with the crane is I made sure it was overlapping, so I twisted it the other way so it sticks out over the crane. So that gave it a call, like you're uploading stuff there on the corner. Which I thought was quite good. And that works quite well. Right, so we're now looking at our eagle's nest is all coming together quite nicely. And we're just going to build the, the the landscape behind it. So what we're going to also do now is we're going to go to buildings. Oh, no, we're not. When we go to Toy Origins, I think. Where am I going? I'm all confused. Yep, Toy Origins. I think I want Star Wars. And that's it. And I want this Echo Base Station. Now, what I wanted to do with this one I wanted to do it so the entrance follows into the actual platform. But the only annoying thing on this, and we'll show you this, that platform is not a nice squared shape, so it doesn't fit flush. So we're going to have to make it look like it's fitting flush with the system. So we'll stick this on the edge. You'll see here there's a little gaps here. Okay, so we're going to make sure we line it up so the, the entrance to the cave matches to the platform. And we're going to fill in some blocks on there. And then we're going to put a little roof in it to merge it across so it does look like it's all part of the same unit. So we're going to drag that across. So we're going to fill this in here. So Matt again mirroring that up. And now it allows me to see what bit blocks I've got to start building on here. So there we go. There is our, our little base together. So you'll see here there's a little gap down there underneath it. So we need to just put a little platform in there as well. So We'll move this across, pick our little building blocks, and now we'll put that so it fits underneath it. So look, it perfectly looks like it actually goes across into the square, so we can line that up as straight as we can get it. It does not 100%, but you don't actually notice that it's slightly off-centered, so get the first one. That looks good, that's all touching it, and I'll do the same on the other side. And that's now set up. So we now can run across into our platform. So it doesn't 100% fit on that side, but I'm not too worried about it. That means we can now run into that cave and we can now start adding the rocks and the other landscape towards it. And you can choose however the layout you want that to be. 
Okay, not looking too bad at all. Now what we're going to do is we're going to finish the rest of the mountain range off. But what you'll notice here is as I move round, the eagle's nest went black. And that was a missed colour. So what I did is I did a save as of this and, and I got the colours back. But it did go, kept on switching on and off, which was very frustrating. But anyway, we'll worry about that later. You'll see here we're now going to put our landscape in. So we're going to now bring it up to the height we want it to be. So we're now going to go two blocks. So I'm now going to add this. Because the reason why I need to do this now is I now need to know how deep the land is. So before I put the rest of the blocks in, I'm just going to change this. Uh, not do theme all. I'm just going to do set theme, which is going to make it the... Um, What's it? The hot one, the echo based landscape. So set theme and then do X to apply. And what we're going to do now is we're going to extend the base down. So you'll see here, I'm going to grab that box. You'll see that we have our towel behind the screen. So we're going to fit this across here and fit them under. We're going to double the depth down on it. Now it's starting to come together. Now it looks like a high mountain range. And the reason why we're doing this now is I needed to know where the bottom was. Because to start with, I was going to leave it empty so that when you fell, you'd fell to your death. You didn't have to have the um, the pop or fall effect. But what I thought I'd do instead is, actually, you did need the ground because it needed to give you that depth. So we're just going to put this landscape back together like this, as you'll see here on the screen. And we'll twist this back round. So these are the things that you'll need to do and you'll need to put the, those blocks in. But again, it was just to get you the idea of the landscape we've got. So you'll see here we now get a large square. And again, there's no wrong or right answer here or where position is. So I just laid it on cross with that box, match it with that block. And then start going across. Now, obviously, one thing you need to be aware of is with the landscape, when you turn it, if you twist that at all, then the pattern will, will change when you go across. You've got to make sure you keep them all the same way, otherwise the box will look differently on the land. But you'll see here, I'm just pulling this all across, and you'll see how high we still need to go because those, those platforms are down in limbo land. Okay, but at least I get to see, okay, right, that's where the blocks are. I now need to know how high I can go. And we start filling those out. So we'll just get a block tool now and we'll chuck that in. So let's get a deep deep block which is that one's quite good right so we can bring that across I was trying different sizes and I wanted something reasonably sized so that was the quite the big block so we're going to fit that underneath that yeah, it's going to be that one I don't think there was another was there a bigger one I don't think there is no uh... now that is the one so it was that one because that's got the darker color to it that was the one I wanted right so I'm going to load that down make sure I'm lining it up with the ship so it's touching it across I'm going to bring it forward as well so it's lined up perfectly on the edge, so it fits there on the edge. Right, so that's block one. And you'll see there's a gap, it still doesn't fit flush with the ground, but we'll hide that with a couple of um, cliff edges. Now obviously, keep saving. Don't do all this far and then it crashes with you because you will go proper mental. Right, that's that one. Oh can't line it up, can't see it basically, it's just not, I need to bring that forward a little bit. It can get quite tricky, there you go, that's better. Right, and the other one can go down, load that one down. If I go down, they keep going down. Oh, look at that, it's still just like, just a fraction off the ground, yeah? But it doesn't matter, because it, the edges, because remember it's a mountain range, it doesn't have to fit flush, we're going to hide, we'll secretly hide those gaps, so the user will never see it. But to us, it looked like it was always perfectly designed like that. So if we go to the edges, and again, you can't get this wrong. It doesn't have to match exactly. Yeah, You choose what you want or your layout. All you've got to do is just get the platform staggered in the same option if you want to do it that way. So that wasn't deep enough. I thought, there's got to be a big one. Oh, they're too, too short. So oh, I think that's not big enough. I thought it was a massive box somewhere. And then I found it's this thing here. This is a massive one. See, look at that. Perfect. So I can lower that down. And look, I can cover up the gap between the two. Perfect. Now also, I wanted to create an odd shape on the edge there. So I'm just going to move that across slightly. Uh, and the reason for that was I was trying to, so it didn't look, it was all certain area shapes. I tried again. Every time you do a, a, a part of the landscape I was trying to make it not look square or have things chained or jugged so even though they were all squares they were all slightly random so I chucked that section out and again we've got the little gap on the other platform so to hide that one out I use the other barrier so let's go to the flat pieces 
Yeah, you got these big flat pieces here, so we've got these. So what we did on this one, we'd lower this down. That's fitting flush, cool. And again, it hides that gap. And then I can do a slope. It doesn't matter, it doesn't fit flush to the edge because it's just the rocky edges to it, which is quite cool. And then the other thing I do here is there was a, a, a quite a tricky piece, I quite liked, I didn't know how I was going to use it. I need to fill that up with some rock places. Uh, making sure there's enough space away from the cable cars to come down, so be wary of that. But we've just got to fill in those gaps. Yeah, we've got to put some soil in there and st start blocking those items out. So in this case, I was looking for different blocks that we could use. Now, I need these ones first. So that one, I need to get that to fit the edge. So that's going to fit flush. Cool. Alright, so I need to bring that forward. So you've got different blocks you can use. I'm going to do two here. And again, I'm just showing you what I went through and did, yeah? I just now need to fill in those gaps and make it look like a landscape on the side, so you pull these across. I'm not going to show you every block I built, because it, it is there isn't anything exact. You've just got to fill in the gaps, basically, what works for you and your layout. Otherwise, if you did it brick for brick, it'll take you forever, but at least you get the, the, the similar structure, and then you can build on top of that. So I now want some blocks down here, I can do the same on the other side, so this will go through. So that one can go in there, so you can see it slide that across. So there's a gap there, it doesn't fit perfectly flush, like I'll oh, know what I'm going to do, but we'll hide that with some pieces. Go back to that square piece, does that fit flush? That single square, cool. And that's now got our edge box on the screen. And that's what I noticed that this second platform wasn't lined up perfectly and it doesn't get that flush edge to it. Uh, and they do need to be if you want, otherwise the rocks get in the way. So I realized that I need to pick this up and just bring it slightly to the left just to line it up just a little bit neat. There you go, that now fits flush. Perfect. I twisted it round in this screen, but in my original, my final one, I actually move it back the other way because you climb up the ladder from the attack and you have to go across the platform. So I did it the other way round. So I probably switched that one back because I want it to run straight through because there's now not a gap there. So that's a bit of a bad, bad idea. I would switch it back if I was you because then it doesn't run straight across. I still can't line the flipping thing up. There we go. Right. Now we've got that set up properly, that will now fit perfectly in the corner so we can now fill those blocks in. So we can now put some land and rock stuff below it, behind it like that. And this is the best thing I like about Infinity, you just build stuff like this. And when it's not logic as well, it's so much nicer and rewarding, how does that look? So what we're going to do now is grab the, some soil tools and we're going to grab some blocks and we're going to now try and fill in those gaps and now remember you may find that they don't fit flush don't worry about it because you can cover the gaps up like I showed you with the bottom part of the lands so in this case I want a little square block here at the side okay again trying to make it a little bit different shapes and you'll see here I'm doing this block on purpose because I'm going to fill in the land around the top part of the ship you see on what ship but the land around the actual base those little echo bases I want to put tiles in there so they look like a part of the unit so when you're underneath the, the box it's all filled in from above so it looks like you're under the uh, section so I'm just fitting that flush against those blocks there I'm going to twist the other side so we can twist those round and then we can go down on those sections and again same on this side here fitting flush with the end of the map which is cool and that will set those all up there on the screen, which I'm quite happy with. Okay, and that's it. So we've now got the gaps in there, and then we can carry on going down with our rocks. And this tool, we are quite like this tool. So what I thought of doing here is, let's how do we get that shape to look quite mountain? So I'm going to put that here, and those rocks don't have to line up perfectly. We're just filling those gaps in between the two. So that was another setting I put on. Just again, test test how it works. Test how it picks it green. I wanted it to be in in the middle of the section there is no wrong answer for this uh, and it doesn't matter if they're slightly out of place so that's the beauty of it you can't 
can't get this wrong. Right, so now you look at that, it fits perfectly to fit those two in, so I can now fill those in. Remember, you need a little gap at the edge there because the reason why you need a little gap is because of the two cable cars, so don't go too far across. So we've now got that little block set up. I'm going to line this one up here, check this one on the screen. Right, so let's get some big rocks in there. Where's the big one? Not that one, it's not too white. Okay, cool, that's that one. I think that fits in. Oh, that's too big. Yeah, that's too big, won't work. So let's grab one of these things right there. We'll chuck this out. So we're fitting this up on the screen. We're going to move this across. I'm going to line it back with those rocks. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. Come on, touch the side. So what you're basically trying to do is create the rocks around it and fill in those gaps. Yeah, uh, and I'm just going to level those up. So you'll see here, I'm putting this platform in, trying to to line it up nice and neat. You'll see I'm having trouble, so I'm making sure I'm looking for the yellow lights where I can get it to touch. But you want to make sure underneath that platform there are no gaps and you can't see the gaps. El elsewhere we can hide it like we did with the front of the mountain range. So I can grab the little side box at the side. We'll grab those little uh, tiles. We'll fill that up inside. Because what we're going to do, the last thing we're going to end on this clip is we're going to use a couple little part tools to put some blocks in to fill in the gaps so those bases look like they're part of the whole platform. So we're just hiding those little blocks in here. So we're going to fill these options going across. Uh, and just put those little items across. So you'll see here, I'm just putting the blocks in there. We'll have the box going across as well, so that can go in. Yeah, and now we need it going across the other side. So I'll move those across the side. That's perfect. That fits in nicely. And then we can use some other building blocks on there. So we've grabbed these little square blocks that I've used and I'm just going to fill that box in there so I get rid of all these gaps. So there we go, they're filled in. Brilliant. So we now have the inside of that mountain range done. So what we can do now is we can grab some components from the building set and we can hide certain columns across. Now you can't add those until the platform's in place because if you before they won't exist if they're there. So we can hide the little corner bits. So we're going to hide a little section in there so the user can't see it. Put some other canisters in inside so it looks like it's part of the base where they want to jump on there. I think I put a canister in front of the stairs so it looks like you've got the box. I can even fit one of these inside the platform. That's quite cool. I have to go back and add that. And then the last thing I think, I was going to do a power supply, and I put a little ledge on here, uh, and that ledge wasn't the right for me, so I'm going to delete that ledge out, and just put in a um, the base unit, so let's go back, let's get rid of that altogether, because that's got a little ridge at the top, so let's delete that out, and let's go and find me, where's the Hoth, there we go, there's the generator, now I'm just going to twist that round, you see it, it doesn't fit in perfectly, so I think, okay, too much of it stuck out, so what I'm going to do is just twist that round, so, but again, it's still inside the platform, so the platform looks quite, otherwise it's like a barren space. So now you've got objects in there, so you can see I'm just trying to get as close as I can without it blowing a raspberry, so that's inside. And now what I need to do is use a ledge and put a ledge underneath it so it looks like it's just not stuck out in limbo. So if I go back to my terrain blocks, and then we're just going to put a little ledge on here. So we go to terrain tools. Find my ledge tools, where are they are, oh, come on. I was looking for a bigger ledge, but I want a small one, just a small little ledge where we got. So these boxes were too big, yeah. So I thought, okay, there must be small ones. I thought we'll get these little ones, but then they were too high up. So we need to find some small ones. And I thought, no, they're too big. And there are some small ones, like perfect. That's what we want, we want these ones here. So you'll notice they're not wide enough, so I need to come out further so we can move it across more so it sticks out, which I'm happy with that, so that's quite good. And we can set that up on the screen. So we can set those. I'm twisting these around. And you can do any variation of that yourself. So there are looking at those ones. They weren't big enough. Like, nope, don't like that. So I think I go back to the wider tool. I needed it deeper down. So we go back across. There's a little one there. That's the one I want. That's better. Yeah, that's good chuck those across. Oh, that's a good one. So I've got three different white sides there, and then if I use a square box in there, I can fill that in. 
and then the rest of the job is really easy because you just build up the land and you just fit it in hide in the gaps and make it as bumpy as so don't try and make it symmetrical yeah you want it to look slightly out of place so don't worry if it's a bit blocky because that's the mountain part and we can add little rock faces to it so the last thing I'm going to show you in this clip now is I'm going to fill in the holes that the echo bases don't do and you need to use a path tool now, I'm only going to show you on one side but you're just going to repeat this on the same thing okay so if you look on here or oh, I might as well put the attack as well just so I've got space for the attack just to set it off that's good and, again, and you look at my memory gauge at the moment on this stage before we've done the touch that's with the train I'm going to use that type up at the moment line that up get it nice and level so that's quite good they're not too bad at all it's all coming together quite nicely right let's fill in the uh, top of the base So you'll see here we've got these gaps, and those gaps are in the way. Yeah, they're quite low down, and I want to hide the fact that it is part of the, the ground. So what we're going to use is we're going to use a simple block, and we're going to attach it to a path that's switched off. So I'm going to use a path tool down here. Look roughly for the middle, yeah, because that's where we're going to do it. And we want to fit it in this particular box in line with, you'll see here, trying to get it in line with the platform. And you can't get it too correct, but I want to make sure it touches the platform so it's not too low. So that one was where it touches it. So that's basically as far as we need to go. So you'll see here, I'm trying to get it about three squares because the big tile's three squares. Click once, just draw it once and then stop it. Yeah, only have to be one square. Now you're going to have to do this th uh, three times because you've got three little points. You're going to go to the property of this path tool and you're going to switch it off. Yeah. And that's it. Now all we're going to do now is we're going to get a flat panel of a simple block. Yeah. And I'm going to move across, get the flat panel, which we've already set the uh, format to. So we get one of these big giant flat panels here, which is perfect. And what we're going to do now is we're going to connect that. So new path connection. We're going to connect that to the path. And you keep doing it until you fill the whole thing in. So we'll put the first one in. So you've got to reach it. You'll see here my spark tool controls after all these years is still useless. Here we go connect to the path so there you go you can see it's automatically filled that in great but because we've got to do the other one we might as well move that one across so let's go to the properties of that it fits quite nicely but I want to move it across these so we go to the properties of that and then we're going to move it across to fill that hole so go to properties toy box path go down to now it's either going to be horizontal or it's going to be uh, the other side we can't tell and annoyingly you can't see it like that when you noise it so what I'm going to do here is if you lift it up you can sometimes change the view so I, what I do is I change a vertical or lower settings change it and it will you'll see it keeps changing the screen I'll do the opposite now we've got the view now we've got it back now I can see where it's gone right cool so I can see it can move it across now So I'm going to move that so it fits, that's it, that's covered the whole block and then I'm going to raise it back. So sometimes adjust the vertical one you're not going to use so you can see it in different places. And you just move these across, right, not too far, that should do it. Take my video back to zero, bring it back up to the place and that is perfect. That's the first block. And now we add another piece to it. So stick it to the side, you'll see I'm making sure it's well out of the way, new path connection. And you need to do that for the other two corners as well. Yeah. So, that, so that now fits flush like that, look at that. And we need to add another one to it, but just move it down the section of the box to cover that corner. So you just want to put another one in. The squares are little squares, you can do either do a couple of squares if you want to. I would just do a big flat panel. And either fit it in there or move it across so it's halfway into the rocks one of the two yeah because you can see how many but again you would just move that to the left and the right and then you do the same for the other holes as well so there's uh, one two three four in total that you need to do I tried to use the building blocks right so I thought I know what to do instead of using an extra panel use what you can't do it because the building blocks are too high up so this is where I thought I know what I just fill those in but look you'll see you can't actually fit them in it's going to hover off the ground so the only way to do it is to, to add another part to that tool yeah so that doesn't work so don't do that add another another flat panel to the tool and just move it down the screen and block it across 
and um, that is your base and then all you're left to do then is to carry on just expanding that and putting your rock face and your position where you want them to go uh, the rest of it is your building side so I'm not going to show you any more to do with the building the base that should now you to fill in your landscape and your box up I will if you want to create a PDF of the document so you can see it we'll just do a quick review of what the other pieces look like so you get to see that first so when you're finished what you've got here is you're now I've just done a couple of the whole version you saw I did a little bit of ex extended little section there on the screen we've got our little place turned up on there I put the canister that side on on the option so I changed that slightly and I extended the box out underneath the other side that was another thing I did on that one so you had a way of climbing up on that screen okay now if you look around the back we go around the back you see I put the extra boxes around and then I create the landscape tailing down and trying to get it so it fits to the ground and where if it doesn't match I'll put in extra blocks so again I kept on lowering the landscape yeah I put a couple of extra blocks there and you see look they don't fit in there's gaps underneath them that was the plan you can see the little edge now that fits down perfectly down the edge and if you look at the other four I've done that for all the other four corners as well but it gives you an idea of how I just then started putting shapes in I started building those blocks up around the side, I got little slopes at the side, a couple of trees in there, a couple of random shapes. And again carried on building the, the base out from here. So basically you go to town now how you want it to look. I just fit those blocks to the edges, tied it up a little bit neater. So I you saw I actually brought the land out across the top there this time, so I actually came across the center, you ran across that platform if you wanted to. So we had some hanging down slopes another thing I looked at doing and you can see those squares look the path tools I used for that one and the other side as well I've done I got the little edges and then I carried on building out around the base now as I say I'll do one more clip on the landscape uh, called uh, the, clip's, the clip's gonna be called uh, touching the void yeah and we'll go through all the different fascia parts for the mountain range because you'll see here to the left I've added all the little rock fascias here and that's what I'm going to cover in another clip but again it's just to try and make it not look flat but the key bit that we got was the echo little bases the little platforms there and you can then just build it round and I just brought the platform round with my power stations to the right and then I wanted a, a big satellite dish right that's all for this particular clip today it's quite a long one uh, the next one is going to be the cable car so it's going to be called uh, where eagles dare that should hopefully be out only in a few days time I'll leave it as a few days so it's not an exact number. I hope you uh, uh, like this, hope you think it was good, and I'll get the other clip to you as soon as possible. Uh, keep safe and well, and uh, look after you guys. Speak to you soon. See you later. Cheers.